Peru has struggles of its own. The country has the widest gap between skills needed in their economies and those its schools can teach. CCTV's Dan Collins reports. It's not so easy to get a job in this country. Peru's rapid economic growth over the last decade hasn't eased the demands on those entering the job market for the first time. Many are forced to work in the unregulated economy because they don't have the necessary skills. As Peru's economy has grown, the labor market has changed. These days, the supply doesn't meet the demands for technicians to work in the rich fabric of new industries which have grown out of the boom. Businesses face a talent shortage. The textiles trade is booming, but companies can't find enough skilled workers to operate modern machines. Training is key to keeping up with the changing economy. In Latin America, Peru leads the way in terms of its inability to fill jobs with qualified workers, and it's second on a global level, only ahead of Japan, according to a report by the Manpower Group. 23-year-old David Zavaios is taking full advantage of the national shortage in skilled trade workers. This institute offers you a lot of work because it allows you to work while studying. So once you've finished your studies, you leave with a lot more experience. Unlike some of his friends, he'll walk straight into a job and one day wants to start his own company. More than 90% of the students who leave Peru's main industrial training school have a guaranteed job. Elizabeth Florian is one of the few female students studying how to operate industrial machinery. For technicians, there's loads of work. The companies are queuing up for us. But I have other friends who've left the university and have not been able to find work. It's very competitive. The institute known as Senati has more than 70,000 students and retrains 400,000 workers across the country. But it's still not enough. The country continues to grow and there are new requirements to fulfill the high technology needs of the new industries. Companies need to retrain their employees in new technologies like this. It's estimated we will need 200,000 such employees over the next few years to sustain the country's future development. Beyond the technology industry, sectors like agriculture, mining and construction are also looking for skilled workers. Peru has boosted its budget for education, but it's still one of the lowest in the region. Last year, the country invested under 3% of its gross domestic product in education. We are countries which have lived through great institutional crises, which led to a lack of interest in long-term planning and development for the future. That lack of vision meant there wasn't the foresight to generate enough human capital. Educators say Peru will need to take decisive action to help those entering the labor market if it wants to keep a stake in the global economy. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.